trees. Dead Prophet is level 6. They're trying to find the angle on the Ember Spirit, who's still 5. They're gonna go in. TP's coming in, yeah. So he's gonna try and head over, but Nisha, he's surrounded. Slider so fits to try and find some time away from the three of them, but he'll get taken out. And the damage of the exorcism of Puppy and Yapso, they've got to be careful as well. Why? Yeah, Puppy's Stepping dead. over with the battery itself, so Puppy is going to get surrounded. There's nothing he can do to keep himself alive. Oh. Double kill, but nothing's the same. And Yapso, he misses the arrow. There was a creep blocking the siege creep unit, so they can't stop the push. First usage of the exorcism. The Yule screens the BKB, making sure that he can be that frontliner that PSG LGD can fight around. PSG LGD, while Sarme continues to defend, they'll make a move towards the Nisha. He's been caught. Silence into the rod, the hook shot and the blood right. They lock him down. And it's Nisha. All the swap. swap. Puppy will manage to get the save off. So Puppy able to make sure that Nisha lives. Smoke. Zai and Yapsor trying to find a kill on Ame. Get the rolling thunder into the arrow. They can certainly have a shot of getting this. We mark down bottom. Looking towards Y. Y's got the back of the curse is out. Jin Q is able to catch the two of them into the side as Nisha goes down. And now with the chase, they'll look to run down with some of our ruptures at the ready. Papion pops it out. Matsu, he has still got the ult. He's going to pop it. Get back in there. Try and close the gap. But the Yules is up. Y inside. So the will actually still get the kill on Y. But of course, will not manage to escape. 15 minutes. They're making a move on the bottom so he can TP to the bottom lane and connect with the rest of the team if needed. We go and look at setting it up. Why? Hook shot straight to the back of Faith Beyond. It's not the ideal start, but it, it, it does the job. Kill is found. I don't think Team Secret's Q fight is enough to actually just threaten. There we go. Nisha, it's walking up the high ground. Ahmed just dropped down the Wukos. Come on, Nisha does have a remnant prepared down bottom, so he is away. But now he's on the other side of the map. PSG LED. They're going to look to get into the pit. From it. The rest of the team, like they have three people on the bottom. Like this is Roshan, Zai, trying to jump in. Super time is the first will hold it back. Three didn't get the kill on Roche. Aegis will still be picked up as well by PSG LGD. Has nothing to say, able to take it as well as taking Zai's life. Or that. Uh, they have a setup, you know, they have a setup with the Ember Spirit, but it's a bit tough to execute considering they're playing into Vibrant. Arrow will connect on a mid lane. They might be able to burst it down. That's the first line. Gotta be careful, Jin Q wins his curse in 15 seconds. So if they want to go in and try and take him down, Rolling Thunder coming out from side, found the chain straight over the wall, Jin Q and a fake. Okay, roll. As he's perma silenced there by the squad of PSG LGD, and now they're overwatch puppy as well. Rodomados down from Fabian, PSG LGD, they'll be able to find three. Rocket, Rocket flare from White. We'll finish him off. Nah, he's giving his... Okay, Fabian all sudden. Dyer's middle tower. Anyone who's thinking, like, he, yeah. he's quite suicidal on the clockwork. Like, you go in, most of the time you're gonna die, because you don't have that jetpack. If you have a jetpack, then you're good to go. Oh, here we go, why? He's onto Puppy Puppy outside of the base. Quick kill for PSG LGD. I'm not uh, fooling around or anything. I'm just getting that BKB. It's a 10 second BKB. Didn't even pop it once, but uh, you know, it's still good to have it. Why? Side why? He's able to find the catch on to Yapsor. Nisha will be able to run, but Yapsor left behind. Two. The SGLGD, they take this rush fast. See what they're heading over. There's so many monkeys, they need to be careful. See what I can do. Puppy having to swap Zai out of that. GOGD nearly getting the setup to die past the racks for the kill. Take away the mid racks. Zai's gonna jump in. Turn with the abyssal. We'll be able to slide out with the swashbuckle, but the melee racks are gone. Arme immediately moving up to the top. Yeah, Zai, that was a five man shield crash. 90% damage reduction. They can't kill him. What they can do to stop this. Close the sword. The missile back on a puppy. Zai. And with rolling thunder getting in on top of Arme, but Arme's been protected by the corner brace. What a chase to one to our mate. He would have had the back. Arme getting low. Zai. Doesn't get it off. I mean, Zai did that perfectly. He stunned Arme for pretty much the entire time. 100 to 0. They're actually able to kill him off before he can get the cheese off. So now, we're going to see if they can chase him out. 
So he gets a four step. Double damage. Did he come in for this angle? Secret might not expect them to, to be here on the high ground. Nothing to say. Got to find any catch. Secret. I'll be able to stand to the side for the Moonlight Shadow. Whoa. 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 Not quite able to catch there. Why try? Dodge is in place. Puppy. Chase out by. Nothing to say. Secret puts an end over to the side. Map two. He's coming in onto Ame. Ame will be able to get the PKB and the cheese off. Turn to the missile over on Map two. He's caught in the wind. Come on, Map two. He's going to be into it for the barrel. This strike slammed down on the Charles. Ame takes it on the top of man. Zai will also fall damage to the wind. Comes from Ame. He's in. He's chasing over the walls. Nisha, Nisha, trying to run, but maybe get an army. He blows off Hollow, just three dead on secret. And Ame. just too much damage. Ame uses that cheese. No Would chance, you look eh? at Even that? Even dropping the guy, everything coming out. Comes over the missile on the walls. Nisha, now trying to hop back, Ame, Ame. Back by the magic missile. Secret, they've got to run though. Why? Comes in with a hook shot, puppy for the save. Die. Will be taken out towards the side. Matsu getting in on top of GQ. He's trying to bring down the wiper, but the corner breaks it up inside GQ. And we keep himself alive. The wound pulls him down. The bash is around. Matsu is surrounded by the air. Matsu goes down. Death for 90. No buyback on the drop. Uh, they're gonna get Pumpy. He manages to save Fangler for a brief period of time, but uh, they still get him. Like, this is the target that Troll needs to go on. Like, he needs to kill the Vyvern. Uh, there was no curse in the fight. Roll. Die. Can he do anything to save? Gets the push this time. Die. He's having to hold back, Arme. Charging in. Ready to dive in on anybody. Is now secret. They've got he to use the refresher. CSGO GD, they're pushing onto the tier fours. Fortification comes out. It looks like there's going to be very little that Secret can do to stop this power. Wukong is GD. available. Disarm. Still has that Aegis. He is not worried whatsoever. On the back line, GQ is just going to be able to hold the back with the curse. The second tier four goes down. Arme, he's just looking to win the game. Pops the BKB, the Wukong's command. And the Ancient, it won't fall. GG is called and PSG LGD. Game one is there. Great decision making by PSVL to be in the end, like they instantly buy on Viper um, and not hesitating to use the refresher or because he's running out of slots. Get himself right on the edge of the range. So I would need to be able to get that set up onto him with Gale. First catapult, they will deal a lot of damage. Arrow does not connect. Oh, and we're going to see the jump in. There's nothing to say. He gets him remnant down and no chance for Nisha to jump over to the orb. I hope no one from Valve is listening. <laughs> do not need that sort of integration. Coil on Pango. It's uh, like he might drop. Does not have a raindrop. Oh, Root can't get out. Thing is available if Nisha finds the setup, but PSG LGD, they're, they're playing split up bottom lane. Faith Beyond, 1300 towards the Blink Dagger. See the, the commitment of the coil onto White. As Nisha will just settle for, for an easy support kill. Look to lead in on this with the Rolling Thunder. Straight over towards the two of them. Watch the connection onto both. Zion Puppy. Pulled out by the stuns. The sleep pull up onto Puppy as well. They drop the splitter. Yapsor rolling straight in. PSG LGD begin to back off. They don't get the initiation they want as Jinq. Will we get caught behind by Nisha? Coil down. Sets up for the kill onto Marana. Oh, on the way that he's working on, he's gonna have no interest in turning up to team fights no. until he's got these next two items done. Exactly. Like maybe if they use a couple of their abilities, the kick will not break the coil, but they'll still get, get the kill. If you can. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Illusion. On top. Right beyond. We'll get got him. She leads in with the coil. This four-man sort of killing squad off secret. Oh, right, we go, they're ready to roll. Faith Beyond. Remember the blinking, sets him onto Zion. Yeah, Zion coming down the middle. And it's not going to connect onto any of them, though. Zion still alive for now. Wukong command down. Puppy having a false promise himself to stay alive. Nisha gets it onto Faith Beyond and Wyatt with the silence. Takes down Faith Beyond. Over to the side, Maximum Man. Cook it up the concoction. Throws it in onto nothing to say. The Wukong's command still down. All right. Gonna connect it. Nothing to say. We'll be focused by Matsu. Nisha. Nisha's in with a burst. Take down a second. I'm moving over towards Jinq. Jinq underneath the tower. It doesn't matter. Secret running down. Concoction over towards Y. Secret. They're gonna be able to find four by the looks of it. It's Y. He'll tick down to the urn and the acid spray. Secret wants to jump in. 
for that secret little little hesitant on committing fully for, for the Roshan. Yeah, it seems like they're bailing. Yeah, they're gonna look towards some kills. The GQ has been found up top. Force break the call. Coil. Or is it risky? Uh, it's super risky. They take one fight against the Alchemist. You just have so much damage on the towers. Like, it could be tricky, but if he can't get away with that, not to say. Remember, try and turn and try to play aggressive into Yapsaw. He's gonna have quite enough damage. He's now gonna be able to get out of it. Yapsaw actually lands the silence. And that'll be enough to set up for Puppy to nuke him out. They get the kill. Jinq also ticking down to the poison. And he's gonna get taken out as well. So you know, he's not been involved in a single kill, 0, 4, and 0 so far. That didn't go for Maelstrom, so you're not going to be able to scale. Uh, he's, he's probably dead once again. Oh, they've got the stun. I mean, the boss, I think you, you were looking to the future, because now he's 0, 4, and 0. He's 0, 3, and 0 before. You're, you're calling KDA before it even happened. <laughs> This is gonna be, seems like, free set of barracks. I don't think they can test this. Still, Ace is up and running for two and a half minutes. They just can't get in on it. No, Arme is too risky. Arme's just gonna get Dream Code. Nisha, he's just gonna be able to take the jump stun okay. by underneath the tier fours. And they've got the follow-up concoction. Matsy's just moving in. Arme is in so much trouble. There's no way they could help him as Arme's dead. That's it. And they call, call it. Yeah, it's, it's over! They actually just call it! They see no way of getting themselves back into this game! A secret, they'll take this game too! Yeah, they're like, wow, well, they, they call GG. Yeah. Uh, kind of surprising. They could have maybe tried to take possibly one more fight. I think but so. But I can also respect You know, it's, I, I just checked in people because they, they changed it. Jim oh, Q. Yeah, he's super dead. Yep. Shackles out. And they try and get the first bit over towards Nisha, but Zai will take it. Safe. Zai. He's going to get gone off. Tries to step in very aggressively, and of course, with the first point in the Chakra shot, he's not going to have any way to escape. I believe in the Chinese season one. Rune, gonna spawn on bottom. It's regeneration, a big one. Let's see if Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit? Yeah, they might get a kill here. The Flame Guard. They've got the right click. Take him down. Shinkyu tries to grab Nisha. Nisha, jump away. Shinkyu know what I'm talking about. Exactly. I've got 8.5k MMR. You know, it's, it's believable. <sighs> you didn't convince me. Try it again. Smith Lex. There we go. They've got the catch on to Poppy. He's got back up this. Yeah, so he's trying to turn things around. The stock comes down. Shinkyu. Stick charges into the trees. He goes. Zane holding back. Nothing to say for now. With the nightmare. Nothing to say. Still able to jump in. Over with Nisha. Nisha cut down by the slider fist. As they bring down the pot. By taking some tower hits. That will cause him to go down. A secret will find the two of them, but they lose. They lose Nisha for it. Still level five, like a answer this time around. Maybe Team Secret felt, you know, Team Secret is a very stubborn team where they feel like something can work. That they, if they feel they can beat a certain hero, they will just leave it in the pool. Yep. Proved to be able to do that last game. Far. Five to six. One K lead for PSG LGD. Beyond. Coming with some aggression up top with the shape shift pop. Nothing to say. It's in with the wraparound. Sets up the chains onto Yap. So the TP's coming in. Yeah. Turn shackles and nightmare. Hold back. Nothing to say. Dream Call dropped down by Nisha. Not actually any damage to kill the, the least heroes, though. They don't. Wait for Yance able to wait out the Dream Coil and get back to safety. It's Necrobook 2 already done. Like, they get nothing out of this shape shift, but. Oh, good shackle. And turn uh, the chains around to Zai. Stop as well. Locks down the Wind Ranger, GQ coming in from the side, he's gonna have that extra burst to bring down Zai Puppy as well. Gonna be eaten down by White. Shackles onto Nisha, but Yaps was able to throw out the silence, stop the channeling as Nisha can jump away with the orb. Two dead though on secret. Uh, participate in the team fights. But it could also potentially backfire, like uh, the Lycan with the Necrobook 3 has a dispel mechanic, he goes and you're just straight up dead. For nothing to say. This is not a position four or five wind ranger. This is a core wind sure. ranger that is supposed to scale. Now you need to get the maelstrom. You need to get a BKB to be able to stand your ground coil on two. Radiance Courier has been killed.
Russia. Radio Nothing to remove the silence. Same to be said for Zai. Two cores that uh, are going to really struggle to deal with that, that jump and initiation and chase from right to the out. Secret will also have problems maintaining vision against Necro 3. Bottom. And the coil. More people. Pretty dead. Get up if you can. A better time, wasn't yeah, he still doesn't there. get as much arm yeah, as like and that's for sure. It gave Faith Beyond just a, a completely a perfect opening for the game. And in the mid, the catch on Tanisha. They've got him on the catch between the two. Yeah. Nothing to say, I think you'd have to close the gap. He will swap the Quicksilver Amulet after that pickup. That age is going in for a BKB, not going in for a BKB, going for his own KB. That's Monkey King Bar. How's that bottom? Nisha, he's trying to get aggressive onto nothing to say, but Faith Beyond, he's coming across with a shapeshift. Secret's got to run. Faith Beyond turns over towards Zai. Zai is able to get the win run off in time. It's going to come to an end. The power strike comes crashing down from Arme. Zai taken out. Another kill for Faith Beyond. Dyer's middle Q. tower is under done the attack. Humpy Upsaw, and he's going to find him. Setup's there, and bringing Y over, see if Y can get in position for the stomp. He can. They've got enough damage between the two of them. They're bringing nothing to say over as well. Another Hex is available. Closing the gap with the Brennan. Yeah, right. the Shaman things. <laughs> the, the, the amount of lockdown between, you know, Shaman, crazy lane that PSGOT had against him, the way things have started, but two, six, and three. Went for that first. He wanted to get the Maelstrom, but feel pressure to, to get the BKB done before he upgrades the Javelin to the Maelstrom. So uh, all cause just a, a very slow progression with his items. Yeah, just doesn't deal enough damage right now. They're gonna go on a chain. We'll get the Wind Ranger. Disappears. Disappears to the army of Faith Beyond. Still has a Yule Scepter. Oh, what a juke by Nisha, but is it? He could still be dead here. He's gotta drop the Dream Call in an attempt to run. The silence is on him. The Necro books continue to beat him down. Will manage to jump away. My monkey, is he chasing? No, he's gonna stop. I um, mean, just, I like creeps more than... ...rougher position than they were in game one. Game one was tough. Yeah. To say. Set up. On to Zai. Oh, he's gonna go for the TP out, but Jin he's ready with a hex. That's another death. On the wait for, all their items are pretty much online. A pistol blade will be done. For Ame in the next 100 gold. Here's this ancient creep camp, and he's good to go. He's trying to go for Jinku. He's going in for the BK. He's going to smash him the crit. He will bring down the charm and turns over the wards. Why as well? Oh, it's a good fight for Team Secret. You know, they're just delaying things, which is uh, kind of a must have. Two dead on PSG LGD. But they're three cores that are alive from PSG LGD. You know, they have got a good chance of taking a fight three versus five because of how big they are. And in the mid, the jump's been made onto Matumaman. Matumaman just gets taken out before he can do anything at all. And now Secret, they've got to back off. They've got to run. Remnant down for nothing to say. He chases over towards Puppy. Puppy will also fall. See, they, they may have had the number of bombs. And obviously, Secret, so they do have to go for those desperate plays. And yeah, just uh, farm that 6,000 gold somewhere. See if he can find any money. As he's, he's looking for a kill. He's in up to one. Why? He's gonna have the backup. Q just turns for the head. Japsa will roll in, get the signs down on the two of them. Imagine he's able to put the BKB. And will once again be able to take down the two supports as they immediately TP out of there. Matu will manage to get back to base. There is a secret. Tight. Able to turn. It's just gonna be so much easier dealing with the Wind Ranger. And of course, Phantom Assassin, Boundless Misses. Zai, Zai's gotta run. They're hunting Jinq. He's gonna be able to reach in, set up with the hex. They've got the catch. Kill. Another one for Armin. Jinq even has that shard, coil, whiffs. It's not connect on anything. Now they've got to be careful, secret, because PSG LD are gonna come straight running at the puppy. Turns, puts the sleep over onto the Elder Titan. That's nothing to stop Arme though. As Arme takes down the base. Nothing to say if they chasing Matsu back towards the base. But put the BKB that's down a chance of surviving. We'll turn. Nothing will stand in my way. Arme will connect with the team. He picked up the double damage. So put Mords down. Grid not ready anyway. If Taking those out. PSG LGD will get away with this. Family stroke to open up on Tanisha. Oh, they just steps in for the abyssal play. Nisha cut down by the slider fist. Out for 70. No buyback available on the puck. There'll be no defense to be had down here. Another set taken by PSG LGD now.
Next Roche may respawn in a minute. Still feel they should try to take one more fight. Ame has cheese. Oh! Remember the catch? But the Stella want to pump him straight away. They commit on all two. They'll be able to find the lockdown onto the Tumba Mama. Tumba Man, he's got to run. Will manage to jump up. Puppy's going to die again. But they strike down on the two of them. They catch it both Nisha and Puppy. An immediate dieback from Puppy on the Bane. And now the chase continues inside of the base. They get the hex onto Matsu. Shackle shot. Will hold back. Nothing to say in face beyond. But Arme's jumping and looking for Zai. Zai keeps his distance. Off the Amsa just rolls straight and will set up the Pasha to get the kill. But they're calling it. It is absolutely done and over. A secret for GG. PSGA or GG. Take game three and with that the series is theirs two to one against secret with both of their victories this one in particular just yeah, being complete stops complete domination coming up from psg lgd pretty much everyone on the team